Hey guys, and thanks for tuning in. Uh, so a lot of you guys have asked me what shortcuts do I keep using in KiCad when I start doing stuff a bit fast. Um, so in this video, I'm going to go through A to Z on all the shortcuts I use in KiCad. So how to place component, tracks, all this stuff without going to the menus, just by the keys. So the idea of this video is after you watch it, you'll know all the shortcuts that I know from A to Z. Uh, enjoy. So A is for placing component in your schematic. So if I push A, and I click, I get my symbols open. And here I can start putting components onto my schematic, as you can see. So A is for a new component, a new symbol in your schematic sheet. So B is for re-pouring your copper pour. So you can see the red and green here. So red is my top copper pour, which is my BCC, my VPAT. And the green is my ground copper pour at the bottom. As you can see, talking through here. So if I move something, I need to re-pour the copper pour. So this to re-pour it, I push B. So B repours it, you can see my copper pour changed. Let's show it again. So I'm re-pour it, push B, and my copper pour will connect to ground. So B is for refilling your copper pour. C is for copy. So let's say I want to copy a resistor. All I have to do is push C over it and it will copy. So you don't even have to click on it. You can just hover over it, push C, and it copies it. How cool is that? So C is for copy. D is for moving a track neatly. So when, when you click on a track and you just move it away, you will see it disconnects. So to move it nicely, you have to push D and then move it. So click on it, D, and then you can move it, and it won't disconnect. So let's see another example. I click on this, push D, and I can move it nicely. If I don't push D, it will just disconnect. So D is to move your tracks neatly and nicely. E is for properties. So when I click on a component, I can just push E and the property window will pop up. So that's the same for the schematic and the PCB. So E is for properties. Highlight the component, push E and the properties windows will pop up. F is for flip. So if we want a component to be on the other side of the board, we just move it and then push F and the component will flip the sides on the board. So green is the bottom, red is on top. So F is for flipping your component. G is for good luck finding a shortcut that works with G in KiCad. I've been looking, I cannot find it. Doesn't matter what combinations I pick with G, it does nothing. So G is for good luck. H is for dimensions. So if you push Control Shift H, you will open up a way to measure your board. This is not just for measuring, this is actually for keeping a dimension on your board the whole time. So here you can see I'm doing dimensions on my board. So this is easy for someone to review a board. So H is for dimensions. Control Shift H gets you this option. I is for box. So you guys see this nice blue dotted line I put around my schematics. To get that you have to push I and you'll be able to draw your own box to put your designs in certain aspects to make it easier to look back in five years time when you come back to the schematic. So I is for box. J is for a junction. So when you create a wire, you can actually go over another line. So these two lines are not actually connected. So the one going down and the one going to left to right is not connected. To connect it, you can just push J for junction and create a dot like that. So that dot represents that this line and this line is connected. So J is for junction. K is for keep out area. So if you want to define a section on your PCB where you don't want any tracks or wires or copper pores, you can make a keep out area. To do that, you push Control Shift K and you create a zone. And so at the top, I don't want any tracks or any wires or any pores in this area over here. So now you'll see if I do a design rule check, it will complain. And it tells me I've got a track inside my keep out area, please delete. So K is for keep out area. L is for labels. Here you can see D minus D plus. And those are actually labels that connect to another part on the schematic. So you can see D plus. So this D plus is connected to this D plus. So to do that, we push L for labels and make D plus. And then we connect. So this D minus connect to that D minus. This D plus is connected to that D plus. So L is for labels or net labels. M is for move. So sometimes you want to 
make your designators or your text move a bit so as you can see clicking on the zero ohm is quite difficult sometimes if i push m i can move it so always keep that in mind m is for move and then you can move it wherever you like n is for changing the grid so if i push n you can see the top here the grid changes so the grid is just my dot you see changing so um, it's the movement of the cursor so the bigger bigger smaller so it is the dot you see here on my grid so n is for grid o is for placing component on the pcb so if i push o my footprint library will start loading and i can place a footprint on my pcb so normally you go from the schematic update and put the footprints from the schematic to the pcb but if i want to put a footprint by myself on the pcb i can just push o so once I, push o, <laughs> once I push O, the footprint, you can choose the footprint you want for the PCB. And then you can just take it across. So O is for your footprint placement on a PCB. P is for a power port. So if I push P, I will place a power symbol on my schematic. So there I can choose my voltages. I can search for ground. So P is for power source. Q is for ignoring errors. So once you're done with your schematic you can actually go to inspect electrical rules checker and run it you can see that it's no connection so keycat is telling you maybe something should be connected there i can push q and place a do not connect so what this just does is it double checks that i agree that nothing has to be connected there so i can go tools electrical check and now you'll see it actually becomes less so Q is for the saying it's okay not to have anything connected there. No connection flag. R is for rotate on the schematic side and the PCB side. So when I highlight something, I can push R and it will rotate on the schematic side. When I highlight something on the PCB side, R will rotate it. So R is for rotate. S is probably one of the most important ones. S is for saving. Control S, like many other programs, is save keep saving those projects guys you never know what can happen t is for text so sometimes you want to make some comments for yourself you just push t and you can type uh, remember remember the esp32 runs off 3.3 volts so i can make notes like this for myself when i come back in two years looking at it i can just quickly recap okay this is what this does so t is for text u is for toggling between millimeters and moles so in pcb design they use moles quite often it's a unit of length as you can see on the top here and millimeters as most of you know is also a unit of length so to toggle between the two you just have to push Control and u and then you can see the grid will change between moles and millimeters there we go 0.8 millimeters and 31.5 moles so u is to toggle between moles and millimeter v is for wires so when i place a track and i want to go to the bottom layer all i have to do is push v and i will go to the bottom layer and i can carry on with my track so v is for placing bias w is for placing a wire so if i push w a wire will appear and i can connect my components to one another as you can see here so W is for placing a wire between components. X is for placing a track on your PCB. So if I push X and click on a track, you can see that a new track will appear and I can connect my components on my PCB together. As W was for the schematic, X is for your PCB. Y is for redo. So if I delete something by accident, you know the famous undo, but then to redo what you undid, you push Control Y and it will go back. So control Y is redo. You guessed it. Z is for undo. So if I make a mistake by accidentally deleting stuff, I can just push control Z on the schematic and the PCB and my mistakes will be fixed. So control Z is for undo. So that's it. So that's my, all my shortcuts I use from A to Z to make PCBs as fast as possible. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, uh, like, subscribe. You know what to do. I'll make more videos like this explaining KiCad, all the 
tips and tricks that I use, as well as other KiCad um, tutorials about schematics and PCB, etc. So, see you guys in the next video. Bye.